Chelsea's campaign to kick anti-Semitism out of football continued on Thursday as they invited inspirational Holocaust survivor Harry Spiro to give a talk in front of the first team. The club launched a new initiative to tackle anti-Semitism earlier this week and the full first team squad were present at Cobham to meet Spiro as part of the World Jewish Congress No. 1 member campaign. Hosted in a room usually reserved for tactical discussions, the likes of Cesc Fabregas and David Lewis listened intently as Spiro relived some of the harrowing plight he and his family went through under the Nazis. The Chelsea team are supporting the World Jewish Congress No. 1 member campaign Holocaust survivor Harry Spiro gets a round of applause from the Chelsea first team squad Spiro, now 88, was only 10 years old when his native Poland was invaded by Adolf Hitler's army and it was in the intermittent four years before the end of World War II that he experienced so much horror. His story of dogged survival was enough to inspire club captain Gary Cahill, who thanks Spiro for taking the time to share his story. I have never heard a testimony from a survivor before, and it was an incredible story, Cahill said. I am grateful Harry was able to share it with us. Cesc Fabregas shakes hands with Spiro once the talk at Cobham training ground was over Chelsea and Brazil international William thanks Spiro with a handshake following the talk Spanish defender Marcos Alonso shakes Spiro's hand after listening to the inspirational talk you could see everyone was fixated on his story. You found yourself so intrigued as to what he has been through in his life. It's incredible to imagine for someone like myself who has grown up in a normal environment, the things he has gone through and the pictures he must have in his head growing up as a young boy which you should never, ever see. We feel privileged to have him here and see him and hear his story. Chelsea have been keen to raise awareness about anti-Semitism after the club were forced to plead with fans to stop singing an offensive chant that referred to Tottenham fans as why. Cahill admits the club are working hard to eradicate all forms of discrimination from the fan base. He continued, the Chelsea Foundation's building bridges is important throughout the whole year, but the club have shown we are fully behind this campaign. It is something the club is very passionate about and us as players are very passionate to get behind as well, as you saw today. Spiro talked to Chelsea chairman Bruce Buck before he addressed the Chelsea first team.